Hey guys, welcome to Med School Made Easy. So today we'll have a quick recap on the um, joints of the lower limb in this video. And we'll have a look at the hip joint, the knee joint and the ankle joint. So we'll talk about the type of the joint, the articular surfaces, the ligaments, the blood supply, the innervation and the movements of these joints. So if you move on to the hip joint, it is a ball and socket synovial joint and the head of the femur and the acetabulum of the hip bone actually articulate with each other to form this joint. And the ligaments supporting this joint are the fibrous capsule, the iliofemoral ligament, pubofemoral ligament, ischiofemoral ligament and the ligament of the head of the femur as well as the acetabular labrum and the transverse acetabular ligament. So the blood supply uh, to this joint is mainly from the obturator artery, the two circumflex arteries and the two gluteal arteries and the medial and lateral circumflex femoral arteries actually form kind of an arterial circle around the capsule attachment of this joint. And there are these arteries called the retinicular arteries which arise from this circle and um, they supply the intracapsular part of the neck and the greater part of the head of the femur of this joint. <laughs> and uh, the innervation to this um, joint is from mainly from the femoral nerve, the anterior division of the obturator nerve and the nerve to the quadris femoris muscle and the superior gluteal nerve. So, um, talking about the movements, there is flexion, which is done by mainly done by the Swiss major and the iliacus muscles, and extension, which is done by the gluteus maximus and the hamstrings, and then there is a um, adduction, which is done by the adductus longus, the adductus brevis, and the adductus magnus muscles, and then there is abduction, which is done by the gluteus medius and the minimus, and medial rotation, which is um, done by the tensor fascia latte, the anterior fibers of the gluteum medius and the minimus and then there is lateral rotation which is done by the two obturator and the two gemelli as well as the quadris femoris muscle and um, then there is the knee joint which is a condylosynovial joint as in like there are two condyle joints between the condyles of the femur and the tibia and then there is one sagittal joint between the femur and the patella and the articular surfaces are the condyles of the femur, the patella and the condyles of the tibia. And the ligaments supporting this joint are the fibrous capsule, the ligament and patellae, the, ligament, uh, the tibial collateral ligament, the fibular collateral ligament, the oblique popliteal ligament. And in addition, um, uh, there, is uh, there is arcuate popliteal ligament, the anterior and the posterior cruciate ligaments, the medial meniscus and the lateral meniscus as well as the transverse ligament. And um, the blood supply to this joint is actually from, um, from an anastomosis around this joint and the sources of this um, anastomosis are the five genicular branches of the popliteal artery, the descending genicular branch of the popliteal artery, the descending branch of the lateral circumflex femoral artery, and the two recurrent branches of uh, the anterior tibial artery, and the circumflex fibular branch of the posterior tibial artery. And the innervation is mainly from the femoral nerve um, through its branches to the vastus medialis muscle and the sciatic nerve through the genicular branches of the tibial and the uh, peroneal nerves and then obturate nerve um, through its posterior division. So if you look at the movements there is extension which is aided by the quadriceps femoris muscle and flexion which is mainly done by the biceps femoris, the seminitendinosus and the seminimembranosus muscle and then there is medial rotation which is mainly done by the popliteus muscle, the seminimembranosus and the seminitendinosus as well and then there is lateral rotation which is mainly done by the biceps femoris muscle and uh, the ankle joint is a synovial joint which is actually a hinge synovial joint and um, if you talk about the articular surfaces, the upper articular surface is formed by the lower end of the tibia 
the medial malleolus and the lateral malleolus of the fibula and the inferior transverse tibiofibular ligament and the lower articular surface is formed by the upper uh, medial and lateral aspects of the talus and the ligament supporting this joint are the fibrous capsule the deltoid or the medial ligament and the lateral ligament and the blood supply is mainly from the anterior tibial the posterior tibial and the peroneal arteries and the innervation to this joint is from uh, the deep peroneal and the tibial nerves and the movements are there is dorsiflexion which is done by the tibialis anterior muscle mainly and then there is plantar flexion which is done by the gastrocnemius and the soleus muscles and then there is inversion and inversion as you can see in this picture and there is abduction and adduction so thank you guys for watching um, hope you find this uh, useful stay tuned for more